I think out of every single player in the NBA that Kyrie Irving is definitely one of the more controversial players and is definitely someone that you don't know what he's going to say next. And with all these new rules okay. coming out for not only states but the NBA in general, it seems like Kyrie Irving may not even get a chance to play next season because he won't get vaccinated. Well to be exact, you can't play in home games if you're in Brooklyn or San Francisco which is for a handful of teams like teams like the Knicks, the, the Nets, and also teams like in San Francisco like the Warriors which is why we've seen a lot of things with players like Andrew Wiggins and Kyrie Irving about them not wanting to get vaccinated, how it could affect their team during this upcoming season. And yes, there are a lot of players like Jonathan Isaac, Bradley Beal, and Kyrie Irving isn't the only one not getting vaccinated, it's that he's the top priority of this. A lot of people are coming to him, a lot of people are hating him, and whether you can justify it or not. At the end of the day, this is not only a problem for the Brooklyn Nets, but this is also a problem for the NBA that I don't think they want it to happen. And as of pretty recently, there's a lot of stuff going on around Kyrie Irving's name, basically about him possibly getting traded, and there's a a lot of things going on about it. A couple weeks ago I made a video talking about him either retiring or possibly getting traded but to be honest I didn't think that those would be any options and I wouldn't think that you would trade a player like Kyrie Irving because as controversial as he is he's still one of the best point guards in the NBA and he's still a good productive player and Kyrie is one of those sole reasons that Kevin Durant wanted to go to the Brooklyn Nets and obviously Kevin Durant is the sole he is the whole purpose of the Brooklyn Nets he's the face of that franchise but if Kyrie Irving gets traded that could affect a lot of things. So so in today's video, I want to go over all these Kyrie Irving trade rumors. I want to go over all these things and see what could be happening to Kyrie Irving during this upcoming season. Of course, if I get to the content, guys, could leave a like on the video, subscribe, share if you, turn the post notifications. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year, and your subscription will be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the video. Trade him! If he ain't gonna take the vaccine and he can't play half your home games, trade him! How can you commit to any player? Even one as magnificent and brilliant as Kyrie Irving. I will say another smaller problem with that is that Kyrie Irving's trade value right now is at an all-time low. And to be honest, it's yes, it is 100% about the vaccine. But I mean, I don't think this is fully true to an extent. I mean, if you were to ask the Sacramento Kings and ask them, hey, we want Marvin Bagley and in return we'll give you Kyrie Irving, no doubt in my mind they're taking that trade. But yes, I definitely do think that to a point and to an extent that Kyrie Irving's trade value is low right now because he's unpredictable and in a lot of states right now they're trying to get this passed now only right now it's only going to apply for teams like the nets and the warriors but very soon let's say in phoenix this could be a thing and i mean let's say a perfect scenario where kyrie irving does not play any home games but he plays away games okay well if brooklyn ends up being a number one seed unless you went to seven games you can't play a majority of the series technically i mean which would really suck if brooklyn was the higher seed in every single game they played if you can't play for the first two games Games, that's a really big deal. I will say Kyrie Irving has done a lot of dumb things in the past and it turns out that he was just kind of doing it for clicks and stuff like that and like he like either retracted what he said or he just like kind of moved on like nothing happened. So this could be a case in this situation and it could end up after they take a good chunk of Kyrie Irving's money that he eventually will just be like okay yep I'll get vaccinated and do whatever I have to. Now I'm not a political person and I'm not one that's gonna tell you you should get vaccinated or you shouldn't. I have my own opinions but those will stay to myself however if sarah in her workplace didn't want to get vaccinated it wouldn't be that big of a deal yeah maybe the people that she works with would be generally angry but it wouldn't be the end of the world however if kyrie irving who is on a team and could be the reason that they either a win a championship or don't especially with his vaccination status then this could be a very big deal and it could cause a lot of people to be mad now, to be quite frank i don't know if the possibility of kyrie irving getting traded is even possible because if kevin Kevin Durant steps in and says no do not trade Kyrie Irving then yes I don't think it's gonna go through. There was a rumor going on that Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving could be getting traded that was leaked by Stephen A. Smith but yeah also said that he didn't say that it was a very confusing situation which I mean the swap on paper sounds really really good because what Philly doesn't want Ben Simmons anymore and Brooklyn doesn't even know if Kyrie Irving can play. Yes technically the Nets would be benefiting because at least Ben Simmons could play but in a million years I would 
normally wouldn't trade Kyrie Irving for Ben Simmons. Now I have heard a lot of things that have been going on within these past couple hours today and Clutch Points put out something that says the Brooklyn Nets are preparing for the possibility that they will be without the guard Kyrie Irving for home practices and games for the foreseeable future. The organization has had optimism that Kyrie would get vaccinated but those hopes have since been gone. And Mr. Brian Windhorse from ESPN has also said that the Brooklyn Nets are undecided on whether they will accommodate Kyrie Irving as a part-time player this season and if he does not get vaccinated. Now I think it's interesting the fact that the Brooklyn Nets are undecided. I mean it definitely shows that they're looking at the possibility of can we trade Kyrie Irving and the fact that they also haven't really committed to it is a little enticing in itself. Yes they're preparing for the possibility but they also haven't made a final effort and we have the season coming up in almost two weeks 13 days. And yes time is running out so the Brooklyn Nets need to make a decision. Now I will say that out of all the teams right now we do have two that are officially are fully vaccinated every single player on the team that is the New York Knicks and the Los Angeles Lakers which is very important for a team because I feel like a team is just as good as every single player on that team you know being together being united which is really important to me in my personal opinion if Kyrie Irving does not get vaccinated they are not only down a man they are down one of the best players in the NBA a team is as only good as all the players together and if Kyrie Irving isn't there it's gonna throw things off I think a lot of teams would rather play a Kyrie Irving less Brooklyn Nets than the regular Brooklyn Nets with Kyrie Irving on that team. So if Kyrie does not get vaccinated, yes, the Nets have a full right to try to trade him. Yeah, it might not be a good trade or it might be a Ben Simmons trade, but at the end of the day, this is a business. And with Kyrie, to be honest, we don't know if he's telling the truth or if he's just trying to drag this on. I don't know why he would. The NBA season's about to start and they're getting ready to take $18 million away from you if you don't play. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works. There's a good chance that they might take it from Brooklyn itself which I think is taken out of his salary so the Nets still might take the 18 million dollar hit so yeah I would think that maybe the Nets are like we don't want to deal with this we'll just trade him for Ben Simmons per se now there's gonna be a couple Brooklyn Nets fans or Kyrie Irving fans they're gonna be like oh why are you hating on Kyrie you're just a hater this this and that but I do want to say that no one's hating on Kyrie Irving because it's Kyrie Irving yes I like Kyrie Irving as a player but I don't agree with everything he says off the court and all of his actions that he does but it's because that he is one of the main faces of the league and in a time where basically getting vaccinated is the thing being pushed right now it's kind of annoying when a player like Kyrie Irving won't say yes you should get vaccinated and he's if anything he's pushing against it now some people are saying that they're not doing it for re religious beliefs but they already shut that down with Andrew Wiggins and I can tell you 100% that there's no thing projecting that you can't get it because of that and I understand that people might have reasons to not get it but Kyrie Irving is in a bad situation where if he doesn't get vaccinated this can not only mess up his career but his NBA team. So yes, I don't agree with Kyrie Irving's decisions and I really do think that he should do it for the sake of his team and for himself obviously. You never really know what's going to happen with Kyrie Irving. These trade rumors are keep going on and a lot of people have their own speculation. I think that they won't trade him. I think he'll stay the same and eventually maybe midway through the season that Kyrie Irving will eventually say like okay I'm going to get vaccinated or whatever. Before I end this video I do want to end off on one point on the fact that when these players say like oh that and the, I'm talking about like the guys like in Brooklyn and San Fran with everyone knowing because a, a lot of the things like oh I don't want to talk about my vaccination status but here's the thing if Kyrie Irving was to get vaccinated we would know if he was playing all the 82 NBA games obviously if an injury doesn't happen so yeah we would all know if Jonathan Isaac ends up playing in the home games and let's just say they do something on Orlando where you have to get vaccinated to play home games then yes it would be very apparent that he got vaccinated like you're not a regular person this type of stuff is gonna get out and that's kind of one of the things that you sacrifice when being someone that's famous or you do a profession like this anyways let me know what you guys do think about these Kyrie Irving trade rumors I'm gonna be looking at these day by day hopefully he doesn't get traded but if he does then I would definitely be the first to report on it anyways if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you do leave a like I'll subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on post notifications I will see you guys in the next video have an amazing day take care peace if you have made it to the end of the video here are two videos on the screen that I think you guys will really enjoy anyways cue the outro Thanks, no,